Mike Perry versus Eddie Alvarez. And let me tell you something. We definitely need a rematch. And I'll tell you why. Because in round one, Mike Perry was getting fucked up, getting caught with so many shots, even getting rocked at one point. You can't take too many shots like that. And Eddie Alvarez took round one. Now, round two, I don't know if Eddie Alvarez gassed out or I don't know what happened to him, but he kept getting caught with the same right hand in which it was doing damage because you could see in his left eye, it was just getting very fucked up. In which when he went back into his corner, the doctor advised him not to keep on going in which they stopped the fight in round two. And now in the post press conference, Eddie Alvarez said that he's willing to do a rematch with Mike Perry. He mentioned a rematch with you in Philly. Do you want that to be your next fight in this company? Uh, oh man, that'd be a beautiful motherfucking thing, I'll tell you that. So my prediction was right. I knew that Mike Perry was going to get the job done for many reasons. The first reason being is that he had three fights before fighting Eddie Alvarez, in which in his latest fight, he made his opponent quit due to very bad injuries. His lip was all busted up, and he even chipped his tooth. Meanwhile, on the other hand, Eddie Alvarez only had one fight, and I would even argue that he had trouble in that fight. So based off this alone, it didn't look good for Eddie Alvarez going up against Mike Perry. Eddie Alvarez, though, is a fucking champ, as in his latest fight, he got dropped twice, but was still able to drop his opponent twice as well, in which he won that fight. To the winner by split decision the underground king Eddie! and obviously in this fight we seen he fought his fucking ass off but we can't really blame the stoppage only because i will argue that his face was so badly bruised he probably couldn't even see out of that left eye but nevertheless he did what he could against mike perry but mike perry just showed that he is really dangerous as he is still undefeated in the end i knew that eddie alvarez was going to be out of this fight quick i knew it was not going to last very long and i also definitely think that he was definitely defeated mentally in the build-up to this fight as his demeanor was way different than mike perry's demeanor but overall mike perry just proved that he's not your typical bare knuckle fighter and he's the best in this division